Keldon Johnson lost 21 pounds this summer, and that was immediately apparent as he showed off his improved first step, blowing by Gordon Hayward for a massive two-handed slam. Despite shedding all that weight, Keldon added lean muscle, allowing him to absorb contact with his chest and finish through Mason Plumley after rolling to the basket. And I loved how he kept things fairly simple, gave his former Kentucky teammate a shot fake, catches him flat-footed, and rounds the corner to finish off the glass. Keldon is going to have the ball in his hands more often this season, and I love the nuance from him to snake the pick and roll to get to his spot and feather in a floater. And we know what he can do as a stationary shooter, give him any breathing room and it's going to be cash. I also appreciate the Spurs not force feeding Keldon a bunch of isos, instead letting him operate where he's comfortable off dribble handoffs, and he's knocking that down if you go under the screen. Keldon displayed some growth as a passer against the Hornets, even though it mostly consisted of basic reads to open shooters. But what most impressed me was his pick and roll playmaking. Watch as he splits the defenders on the gather and shovels this pass to Jakob for a finger roll. This next possession really highlights his progress. A year ago, he probably forces something at the rim, but he draws two defenders and delivers a hook pass over the top to Jakob. We're going to see that enhanced burst once again as he crosses over Rogier to get downhill, forcing Plumley to step up and hitting Pirtle with a precise shovel pass. As is the case with every young player, Keldon wasn't perfect as a ball handler or decision maker, and here he doesn't have a counter to getting cut off and just coughs up the ball. Learning how to balance scoring and passing is going to be a journey for Keldon, so let's pause the action right here. Jakob was uncovered rolling to the basket, and finding his big man should have been the priority instead of trying to sneak in a finish between two defenders, but more on-ball reps are the remedy for upping his awareness. Let's take a closer look at this possession and freeze right here. If Keldon wants to get Pirtle the ball, he almost definitely needs to make a pocket pass, but he pitches the ball into a forest of appendages and Charlotte is on the break, though you have to love his effort to steal the ball back for the Spurs. Taking mid-range jumpers has become frowned upon in some circles, but I don't mind the shot selection here. What I mind is this strange pull-up push-shot hybrid that bricks off the rim, and Keldon needs to be more decisive off the bounce. Pop experimented with this back screen to free Keldon for a jumper off a baseline inbounds pass, but he hasn't looked comfortable from that range since entering the league. While that may keep him from becoming a serious three-level scorer, why don't we briefly move to the other side of the court? Keldon showed more off-ball awareness on D, timing this dig from the elbow perfectly to dislodge the ball when Hayward gets into his spin move. And Keldon looked lighter on his feet on this possession, beating Dennis Smith Jr. to his spot before navigating a screen to contest a fadeaway jumper after a timely dig from McDermott forced the guard to kill his dribble inside the paint. 